part of my mission here is to experiment with waste. And we all know that pallets and barn wood has intrinsic value being reclaimed and repurposed. So I always look for the things that nobody cares about. Holocore doors have been an obsession of mine for the past couple of years. Those thin closet doors that everyone throws away. And uh, I like to find different uses for it and show that there's value in this part of the waste stream. That's a very big part, right? Uh, the, I've done these laminates a few times and the worst part of doing it is that there's finish on these doors and you have to sand all the finish off in order for the wood glue to work properly. And if you don't, and I know from experience, it will not glue. Um, but then it dawned on me that I don't need to use wood glue. If I just use epoxy to glue it together, I don't have to sand it because the epoxy is just going to do the job anyways. So I'm using this Total Boat epoxy just like a glue. Put it all together and I'm really excited to see how this works out because this could make using these doors even more viable for more people that are turned off by the a little bit of extra work that it takes to reclaim these materials. This video is sponsored by Total Boat. Like I've said many times, I don't do a lot of sponsored content on this channel anymore, but there are a few specific companies I work with, particularly ones where I'm on a first name basis with the owner. And in this case, I am. His name is Mike. He's a great guy. We've hung out. And uh, I am actually making this guitar for him. Uh, I made him one a couple years ago, and Mike is an active individual. He skis in the winter, he's on a sailboat in the summer, and he brings this little guitar with him everywhere. And the last one I made for him formed a couple cracks from the wood swelling and stuff, so I said, why don't I make him another one out of material that can handle his active lifestyle? So I thought, holocore doors and epoxy. Perfect mix. And I do have a coupon code, of course. Uh, you can check the description of the video to get that. And uh, thank you, Total Boat, for continuing to support my work and just be cool people. <laughs>
everybody hang on to your seats. I know you're going to be shocked to hear this, but holocore doors are not the best wood. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently making guitars out of them, there's a reason people don't, but that's not going to stop me, of course. Uh, the body has turned out really good. I'm really happy with all of it, but what's happening here is that my whole laminated up neck, uh, this this is real wood in here, but this whole joint, the, the holocore door, like all the layers splintered and stuff. And, and so you can see I've, I've added some patches of some other wood that I've glued on. And we're just having a hard time making this joint line up properly. It's got a little bit of wiggle in there. Um, I'll show you. It's a little bit crooked right now. Whoops. Holocore door. So we like center this here down the neck. You can see it's just a little bit off. The neck needs to go right about there. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm at the point where I'm ready to actually do this is I'm going to get a whole ton of glue in there and then I'm going to use some shims of veneer to push this thing and get it all straight and lined up where I want it, just sort of getting a ton of glue and a ton of wood in there, get it right where I need it, which is right about there, and then worry about, see, look at that, it's just breaking on me even as I'm touching it. And then once I get it all sort of glued up and secured, I'll worry about trimming it all out and making it look good. Uh, in the future, uh, I, I'm not I'm not against, this is like the third or fourth neck I've done like this with these laminates of hollow core doors, but I've never done like a dovetail joint like this. In the future, I will do something different. I had a block before. Um, maybe I'll actually, even in my blank, I'll add hardwood to this section and then do the rest holocore door neck. Or maybe I'll just use regular wood. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> actually, you can see here in a future build that I have one that it's made out of, out of regular wood and it's all, you know, working fine.
guitar is actually a little bit bigger than the last one I made for Mike, which is more like a ukulele size, but it's still a small parlor guitar, and it's still a 23 and a half inch scale, which makes it, you know, pretty easy to travel with. And with that back string access plate taken off, the guitar gets a little bit louder, but it's not quite as crisp. And I know a lot of people are, you know, wondering why I put so much effort into trying to make things out of literal garbage. I mean, wouldn't this be so much easier and turn out better if I just used the right materials and did it the right way the first time? Now, I'm sure you've heard the saying that you, you can't polish a turd, and uh, it's just not true. You actually can. <laughs> Anyone can make gold beautiful, but all you need is gold, right? So if we can turn literal trash into something that shimmers like gold, uh, it's practically alchemy, and that gets me really excited. Is this like a gold metal guitar? No, not yet. But it's at least in the race, and it's not in the landfill. So I'm trying to learn how to make acoustic instruments, and each one I do gets a little bit better. Uh, and I feel better about myself knowing that each one that I make is made of stuff that was destined for the landfill and is now not there. This is my second closet door acoustic guitar, and it would certainly be easier using other wood, um, but I'm not done with doors just yet. <laughs> so there's still some more shine to find in that turd. I'm actually working on a very similar instrument right now. Um, it's uh, a different neck and a different string spacing and whatnot. You'll see, so stay tuned for that. But one mistake I made when putting this one together was I used the wrong bridge and string spacing on this one. I used the one for the other instruments. That meant that the holes I had put in there were way too far apart, and I had to do a little bit of, you know, jury rigging to make it work right. But, uh, ugh, you know, it looks okay. Thank you all very much to Total Boat for your continued support, and be sure to check out the description on this video for my coupon code at works at totalboat.com. And if you want to learn more about the process and more about the mistakes I made and how and why and what I did to correct them, uh, come on over to Patreon at patreon.com slash timsway, where I have another version of this video with a voiceover, and I go into a little more detail about some of the decisions I made and why I made them and why I won't make them again. <laughs> so there's a lot of other stuff there too. All right, y'all, thank you very much, and be good. Mm -hmm.